It's a little bit tense being here, to be honest, because there's a little bit of a demonstration going on. Um, so we're trying to kind of do this as quickly as we can. <laughs> the Middle East is not... <laughs> Sometimes it can get a little bit intimidating, right? It can. And if you're a woman and you walk around in this area, make sure your arms and legs and your neck are covered. That's why, even though it's quite warm outside, I still have my jacket zipped up all the way to the top. Yeah. And if you don't, then, you know, someone will mention to you that you need to get covered. This is Jerusalem, the first city in Israel that we're visiting. Jerusalem is filled with a lot of holy sites by all three major religions, and our goal is to see all three of them. And there's like riots behind us, so we need to go. Yeah. <laughs> It's really impressive. It's like this is one of the things you see on TV so much. And to actually see it in person, it's like it almost feels unreal. <laughs> it looks like it's a little crowded. A lot of uh, people praying. Fascinating. Yeah. We have made it in the Jewish quarter. And then behind us is the Western Wall. This is one of the holiest sites for Jews in the world. We're gonna try to walk this way to get a closer look. What's interesting about the Western Wall is that if you wanna get close, men go on the left side and then women go on the right side, uh, so the genders are separated. And around the Western Wall, you'll see a lot of celebrations and like bar mitzvahs and singing. So it's very interesting to uh, you know witness that. Are there actually bar mitzvahs that they do there? Wow, I didn't know that. If you look close to the wall, you can see tiny pieces of paper that are folded up and kind of pushed into the cracks of the wall. And these are actually little prayers that people write out. Very interesting place. <laughs> I think I'm crashing someone's bar mitzvah. I crashed someone's bar mitzvah. They don't have free food. I was hoping they'd have free food. <laughs> Jerusalem is probably one of the only places in the world where you can hear the Muslim call to prayer right in the midst of a Jewish holy site. There are lots of very uh, interesting alleyways in Jerusalem. Uh, we're in the Arabic uh, quarter at the moment and there are very interesting spicy smells in the air. The smell of the air changes a bit once you enter the Arabic quarter of Jerusalem. I can smell more Arabic type spices. The vibe here is very cool. It's a very uh, nice and tranquil atmosphere. It's a bit crowded, uh, but very interesting. There are so many uh, cultures that you uh, run into. You hear Arabic and you hear Hebrew. Um, and also all of the tourists, devout Christians and Jews and Muslims, they come here because there is uh, plenty of things that are holy for every major religion. This is Al-Aqsa Mosque. It's one of the holiest mosques for Muslims. Uh, you can go close to it, but you can't go inside unless you're a Muslim, it's off-limits. Very interesting. We were trying to get close to the Dome of the Rock and the Al-Aqsa Mosque, but currently we have to wait until 1.30 because they have certain times that it's open for tourists versus Muslims versus Jews. They have a lot of rules around here. Uh, it's just hard to keep track of all of these rules, but I would gladly wait because this is something I wanted to see for a long time. The Habib, I'm with 
لا من المسجد اه ماشي اوكي يلا يلا هي هي كومنتد اباوت يور كلوزنج سكوهم اوكي Behind us is the uh, Aqsa Mosque, and they seem to have a little protest going, so they do not give up a very friendly vibe, so uh, that's not good. So we want to go maybe towards the uh, Dome of the Rock. <laughs> this crowd doesn't look friendly, so I want to avoid that. We had to stand in a long line to get to this place. This is the Dome of the Rock. It's totally worth it to see this iconic building. It is uh, basically the uh, iconic image of uh, Jerusalem. It has this distinctive golden dome. Originally it was built and it was real gold and then recently it was renovated by the late King of Jordan. So that dome is mostly real gold. I've read that it actually costs around 8.2 million dollars. This building is built upon a rock. The Jews believe that this was the rock that Abraham uh, sacrificed or was trying to sacrifice Isaac on. And also the Muslims believe that this was the same rock that the Prophet Muhammad uh, with his flying horse uh, came and landed in Jerusalem and flew back all the way to Mecca in the span of one day, Al-Isra al Ma'rab. The rock inside is considered to be very holy by all three major religions. Morning. Good morning. 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 It is believed that the site of Jesus' crucifixion was just the same location as this church. And also some believe that the site of Jesus' uh, burial was also uh, inside this church. So it's a very interesting place. Uh, definitely one of the holiest sites for Christians to see. So we're going to try to go inside and explore it. The decor in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre is beautiful. The image behind us is a mosaic made of tiny little colorful pieces that you can only really see how tiny they are when you walk up right close to it. It's beautiful. You can touch it. Can I? Okay. Behind us is the site that it is believed uh, was the site of Jesus' tomb. So there is a bunch of people uh, waiting in line to kind of go inside and actually get to be very close. One of the interesting uh, things about Jerusalem is the uh, Via Dolorosa, which is basically the way that Jesus took 
as he was being led to his uh, crucifixion. You can walk the same way, and then there are different stations uh, that you can stop by uh, based on the events that happened to Jesus as he was carrying the cross going towards crucifixion. We're heading uh, to a site called Golgotha. Um, it is the site that it is believed that Jesus was crucified on. So basically what we think is happening is that there are two different sites for his crucifixion and two different sites for his burial that two different groups of Christians believe either one or the other. So I like them both. <laughs> Behind me is the Golgotha Hill or the Skull Hill that it is believed that Jesus was crucified on. And it kind of looks like a skull if you uh, look hard enough. This is where some believe uh, was the burial spot for Jesus. And this red cross is a Byzantine sign, Alpha and Omega. Thank you.